Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my Notion setup, how I use my Notion, what kind of things that I have here and how I organize everything. So if you're interested, then let's get started. I wanted to make my Notion as girly and pink as possible. So that is exactly what I did. So let's take a look at my main page here. As you can see, I just called it Reuse Workspace and this is where everything is located. So I don't have any pages on the side just because I feel like that's not necessary and I can navigate through my main page very easily. At the top, I have this GIF that I just found on the internet and that is a GIF with Japan and Sakura and Yamanote line and I thought that it's just very cute. And I used to live in Japan as you may know, so this just kind of is a special thing to me. So I like looking at that kind of thing. This little icon is this cute rabbit and I just thought that it would go really well with this layout and with my theme. On the left here, I have the navigation. So this is where all of my main stuff is located. I have YouTube, French, K-dramas, movies, anime, library, and recipes, which I will go through in detail in a little bit. And then under that, I have GIF with hydrangeas. Under that, I have a daily to-do, which is drink water, water, read and study French. I don't really go on here and check off my daily to-dos whether I did them or not. This is just something to remind me of the things that I need to do. My monthly to-do, it changes depending on the situation, but right now I say I want to invest at least $200 and then plan my YouTube videos for the month, but I can add or delete stuff depending on what is going on. And then down here I have other, which is 2022 goals and then a house. If we go in the middle, I have have this beautiful picture of these peonies and France. You know that first of all, I love flowers and pink and peonies. I'm a favorite flowers and I studying French. I want to go to France. So this picture was just perfect. Under that I have work and here I have documents. I just created this page so there isn't really much in there and I did use a template that Notion provides. Here I have my current resume which is a link and if I click on that it will take me to Google Documents and I can see my current resume and I can edit it if I need to and then I have my current cover letter which also will take me to the Google document. Under here this is the original template information because I did find a job so I don't need to do this anymore but for future purposes I just left this here when I do decide to get another job. Here I have my current job folder which has nothing at the moment but I will start a new job in a few weeks. So when I have any training files, any related documents, tags, documents, this is where I will keep that. And then down here is this little widget that has inspirational quotes. Now on the right side here, I have this beautiful Sakura gift. Here I have my currently, so what I'm listening, which I'm not listening to anything at the moment. Please recommend me some new music. And I have my reading, which is what I'm currently reading. And then I have watching, which is Breaking Bad. I was re-watching Breaking Bad. I have actually finished that yesterday, so I need to update that. And then underneath that, I have this beautiful Marie gift. I love Aristocats. Uh, Marie is such a queen. So of course I had to have that here and she goes perfectly with my theme. And under that, you can build in a Spotify playlist. So you can really embed and put in anything that you want pretty much in your Notion. So I just have this anime on replay Spotify playlist. That's all that is on my main page. And now let me show you what is in my navigation and show you some of the pages. So for YouTube, I'm not going to show you that, but all I have in there is just video ideas and I have my March, April plan. I don't really have anything else there. Basically is a to-do list and I just check off the videos that I filmed and that's all that I do. Then for French, I haven't really updated my French page, but in here I have just another checklist, to-do list of things that I want to study. As I said, I've just began studying, so I really don't know that much, but this is what I do. I just write different topics that I want to learn and then when I do, I cross them off, but I have not updated this in a little while, so this is a little bit old. Now the next page is my K-dramas and in here I have this GIF from K-drama called W and that is one of my top favorite K-dramas I've ever seen so far. So so I have that there and then here I keep track of my currently watching drama, something I do want to watch and then something that I have watched already. So for instance, right now I'm watching Romance is a bonus book so I can put the genre that it is, the rating whenever I finish watching it and then how many episodes I've watched and then a picture. So this is, uh, let's say Huayugi is a drama that I have seen. So 
I've watched all of the episodes. Sometimes my total episodes number is wrong because um, I just don't care about that. But yeah, so these are the dramas that I do want to watch or I have already seen. Similar to that, I created this movies page, but I actually haven't done anything with that yet. So we're not gonna look into that. And then down here I have anime. I have this Nana GIF at the top and then I have Shonen, Shoujo and Films. This page was inspired and a lot of my pages were inspired by this YouTuber called Thorn of Pages. And she does have a template if you're interested so you can check that out but I did use a lot of her templates for this and I just changed them to fit my preferences but in the shonen folder I have some shonen anime that I want to watch or currently watching I really need to update this because that is very very outdated and then for shoujo I also have some of my currently watching uh, shoujo animes or something that I do want to watch and for films kept it the same way as it was in the template from Throne of Pages, so I have not touched this page yet. Now down here is the library and I have this bell gif at the top and then I say what book I'm currently reading which is Seven Habits and then books I read in 2022 and it has this minus plus buttons so you can keep track of how many books you read and so on and so far I am not doing that great but I'm trying to get back on track with reading and then underneath of that I have this gift from the Ghibli movie and on the right is this gift that I just randomly found on the internet so I'm not sure where that's from down here is the quote by Oscar Wilde which I really like and it's with freedom books flowers and the moon who could not be happy I think that is very very true and underneath all of that is my bookshelf and here I keep track of the books that I'm currently reading or manga that I'm currently reading so if you want to see only the ones that you have read you can do that or you can also look at your TBR only or you can look at all of the books that are in your bookshelf and then when you click on that you will be able to see what genre it is what the rating is and any other information so notion is very good to keep track of that if you want to know what books you read and what you thought about them and finally we have recipes i decided to keep the pictures that thorn of pages provided but you can also change them if you want but i think that these pictures are perfect so we have three folders here we have sweet savory and drinks and i did save up some of the recipes that I found so for different kinds of cakes that I want to try and then the savory page also has different recipes but I really haven't added anything new to that and then drinks also I saved some like hot cocoa hot chocolate drinks and stuff like that that is all that i have in my navigation page and previously i said that i have this 2022 goals here i really have not updated this just because my 2022 goals are in my journal and that's where i keep track of that and then the house is the page that i started working on but i have not done anything here i want to add pictures inspirational pictures to buy lists and stuff like that but for now it's a very bare bones kind of situation but i am going to be moving this year to an actual house that's why I created this page but I just haven't had actual time to work on this so whenever I do do this I will do an updated tour or something like that that hopefully will be helpful but for now this is what we have I hope that you guys liked this video and as I said I used a lot of templates that Thorn of Pages provided so I will leave a link to her video about her notion tour and if you want to look at that go ahead but this is my take on her template so yeah I hope you guys liked this video let me know in the comment section below if you use notion or not and what do you think about it thank you so much as always for watching and supporting my channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye